Former 90 Day Fiancé star Devin Clegg responded to comparisons with Ella and Johnny from 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days, while explaining why she doesn't have an Asian fetish. Utah native Devin made her debut on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way with Jihoon Lee, with Yoon she moved to South Korea after having his baby. However, Toe's season 2 was when things got really messy between Devin and Jihoon, making her flee to America, where she's now with her boyfriend, Toffer Park. Mom of 2 Devin is often accused of having an obsession with Asian men, something that Ella's storyline is also hinting at. As of now, Devin claims that she had full custody of her and Jihoon's son, Ti Yang, while she's still waiting for her divorce to get finalized. After leaving the franchise, Devin has often spoken out about Jihoon and why their marriage was such a huge failure. Recently, Devin has also opened up about having allegedly suffered abuse in South Korea before leaving the country with the help of the 90 Day Fiancé production team. Amidst this, the trailer for the upcoming season of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days introduced new couple Ella from Idaho and Johnny from China, whom Devin suspects is a replacement for her and estranged husband Jihoon. Reddit user Binz is on a 90 Day Fiancé posted a long comment from Devin found on Instagram, where she appeared to be reacting to an Ella and Johnny clip. So far, Ella has been seen telling the cameras that she's obsessed with the Asian culture and that she hit the jackpot after she met Jinan resident Johnny on social media. Devin does think it's right to fetish someone for their race. She added, I don't know if it's producers trying to do that for the storyline to make it interesting or whether Ella is really like that. While Devin thinks it's cool, if her 90 Day Fiancé co-star appreciates the culture, Ella strictly going out of her way to find someone Asian is what bothered the Instagram model. I found the trailer distasteful because she was wearing Japanese attire, but then found a Chinese man," Devin further explained. Meanwhile, Devin claimed that she doesn't fetishize Asian men and never has. So I find my boyfriend attractive of course. Is it because he's Korean? No, specified Devin. She recently revealed that she started learning Korean when she was 14 and that she was made to look like an ignorant American by the edit even got on 90 Day Fiancé. I have ties to Korea, because my uncle is Korean and I would watch my nieces often. That's how I got introduced into the culture, Devin explained to a fan. She claimed she never went out of her way to meet a man and that Jihoon had his international location turned on, which is how they matched. She also met Toffer on an airplane, which wasn't planned. I've dated lots of men from different cultural backgrounds. I don't have a preference, said Devin. However, Devin also revealed that the show made her say that she dated Koreans in the past when she really hadn't. Parallels between Devin and Ella's storylines were drawn the moment the before the 90 Day Season 5 trailer came out. However, besides Ella, Johnny is already being accused of dating her because he could be into plus-size women. Still, Ella and Johnny's plot might be deeper than just the fetish claims, and fans will only know for sure when the 90 Day Fiancé spin-off finally premieres on Sunday.